is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back here with some more RE4 Remake VR gameplay for you. And today I'm going to be talking about the news that broke a few days ago that Resident Evil was going to have a classic collection bundle where apparently the first three Resident Evils in their original form, you know, from the PS1 and Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 are eventually going to be released. Now that sounds all good and all, but there was a little bit of a kicker, and that was that it was only going to be on GOG. Now, I don't know if you pronounce it GOG or just GOG, I'm just going to call it GOG for now. But just to let you know, I didn't even know what GOG was, guys. I had never heard of GOG before. I'm not a PC player at all, so I didn't even know what GOG was. I had to be informed on that. But obviously, it's one of those digital distribution platforms. Obviously, I'm more familiar with the one that most people use, and that would be Steam. And speaking of Steam, it was just kind of weird that, hey, this wasn't going to be on Steam. Was this going to be on Gaul? Which kind of got me to what I was going to get to the point of with this video. and Why? I've heard a lot of people say, hey, this is a good first step. This is good for seeing a classic collection of Resident Evil come on consoles, which I personally would want, or coming on Steam, or just come for everyone. But the fact is, is that I'm not as optimistic as a lot of people. In fact, I actually feel the opposite. I feel like this is more proof that Capcom just seemingly just doesn't want to do this. I don't know why, and I hope I'm wrong. I want to be wrong, guys. Trust me. If I'm wrong, I'm happy to be wrong. Trust me on that. There's no ego here. I would want to be wrong on this. But it just seems like it's more, as I was looking more about this whole issue, and trust me, talking about issues, I, I didn't know what the hell was going on with this hand, with this shotgun. It just was all over the place. But um, when I was looking at this whole GOG thing with Resident Evil, it seemed like it was more like people were praising Capcom. Oh, thank you, Capcom, for doing this. But it really wasn't Capcom at all. It was GOG. GOG was the one doing all the work. I'm trying to preserve these games and bring them to at least one of the platforms in today's standards of playing these games for a lot of people who, who have never played these games or who can't play them anymore. And I was just more like, well, why, why are we thanking Capcom? Capcom didn't really do anything. If they were to do something, they would release a classic collection on all platforms, you know, Steam, uh, console, regardless. I personally would want it on console physical version, but if I could at least get it digitally on consoles, that'd be fine too. But here's the reality. It, it goes back to the whole Steam thing. The fact that it's not on Steam and it's only for GOG makes you think that, hey, this is more GOG doing this and this design for GOG because they're the ones who want to do all the work to bring it back and preserve it. This wasn't like something where Capcom basically did this work to get on there because it, it just doesn't make sense at all. Which goes back to the whole thing. Why does it seem like Capcom does not want to do this and and I, and i've always been wondering that like why are they so against this now i've heard a lot of stories and these are unconfirmed things that people want to make up or maybe there is some truth to them where i've heard oh well they can't do it because they've lost the source code and some tsunami over there in japan and i've heard people call false on this and some people believe it who knows we're all over the place but to me i've always believed if you really want to do it you could do it regardless i'm not going to take all these reasons why because at the end of the day we have so much technology to do so many things i just don't buy it but i've always been trying to figure out the why why they don't want to do it why they don't want to bring back these classic games because they would make so much money like they would make definitely a lot of money for this because older fans want to play these classic titles i know there are a lot of new fans who have never played it who would be really eager to play it and it's going to have the resident Evil names so you know that it's going to sell regardless people get a feel of that classic era who maybe have never had that chance to experience and not to mention i'm not even going through the whole thing of going the extra mile like take the tomb raider classic collection which had a lot of success and they went the extra mile of having the two different ways to play it where you could play it how it originally looked or you can play it on um, the new um you know you know updated graphic version as well as you know having the photo mode and added the new levels they only had to go that route i mean if they want to you know more power to them i would love to see that which would be cool. Just imagine you have the PS1 original looking Resident Evil and then you have the whole updated version of it. You can switch between a dime. That would be awesome. That would be really good. If they go that route, like the Tomb Raider Classic Collection, that would be awesome. I would love that. And they can add a few new things too. They don't even have to really do that. Just release the classic version of the PS1 Resident Evil titles and I'll be happy with that. But it just seems like Capcom is doing everything in their power to just not do it. And I've always tried to figure out the why. 
we know they'd make money it'd be successful but it's like they just want to avoid it as much as possible and it goes back to the whole thing we know fans have been asking for it but it's similar to the whole dino crisis thing fans have been asking for that for a long time but once again just because something is asked for a lot doesn't mean necessarily mean it's going to happen you know and unfortunately I just feel like it's more the latter. And as I said, I'm, I've always tried to figure out the why. I don't understand the why because at the end of the day, I always think a business is a business. You're trying to make money. I feel like that'd be easy money. But nonetheless, if you are a GOG user, you're definitely going to be happy and, and more power to you. And I'm happy you guys are able to be able to play the classic titles. I just wish there was more options for everybody. But, you know, it is what it is. But the other thing that makes it weird when I think about it more with Capcom is... It's not like they're opposed to doing classic collections. I mean, they got the whole Marvel vs. Capcom classic collection with a lot of the old X-Men vs. Street Fighter games, X-Men titles. I personally want to pick that player on because I want to play those old X-Men style games and stuff like that. So they're doing stuff like that, and that's released on a lot of platforms, ironically, except for PS5, which is weird, but they got it on you know PS4 and Switch and etc. But the point is, is like they, they'll do it for something like that, and a lot of those titles are... Um, are pretty old they're in their mid 90s a lot of them when they came out but the point is is like they're they obviously can do it with other titles but when it comes to resident evil it's like it's weird i, I can't explain it it's it's like it's like they are so damned if they do but maybe maybe just seeing another service you know in terms of gall going out of way to put in so much effort to do this maybe they'll make them either open their eyes or, or perhaps force them to eventually release something that we all want is the classic collection of Resident Evil to be f available for everyone, for consoles, for Steam, for just about every type of version. Maybe even, God forbid, have a physical version, which I'll be happy as hell because I'm old school. I like owning physical, but, you know, I have no problem with digital, too. It, you know, I like to have the best of both worlds, but capcom listen I, I love you guys i do but sometimes some of your decisions and and your pettiness as well as just being i don't know anal about a few things just it doesn't make sense make it make sense capcom that's that's all i ask make it make sense the ball is in your court it, it wouldn't take much you don't even have to go the extra mile but you know maybe if you did go the extra mile and as i said the whole tomb raider collection they did that was awesome. If you did that with Resident Evil, oh my goodness, you'd make a lot of people happy. But nonetheless, hopefully I got my whole point out. I don't want to sound as um, negative. I'm not. I'm happy to hear this. I just want it to be available for everyone. And it should be. Because I want to preserve a lot of these older games. Because I don't want them lost through time, unfortunately. And, you know, not everyone is playing these games on PC. If, or through GOG, I should say. Because, as I said, I at least get it if it was available on PC and Steam and stuff. But just the fact it was only on GOG was just kind of weird. But, nonetheless, I hopefully I got it out to you. But, that is my opinion. I want to hear your guys' opinion. How do you feel about this? Are you are you kind of like me where it's like, you know, yeah, it's on GOG. But, it's kind of weird that it's only available on GOG, not even Steam. Or, it's not on consoles. Are you someone who's optimistic of this might be the step we need to see it? Or, are you someone like me where it's just like... Something feels off and you hope you're wrong, but it's just like your gut's telling you something else. Or maybe you got a completely different feeling. Let me know down in the comment section down below. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully I can see you guys back on the next one. Thanks and I'll see you all later. Peace.